Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the official accessories to the Quest Pro. This is essentially a follow-up video to the comparison I've made between the Quest 2 and the Pro. I figured it would be too long to include literally everything that's like just in this new system. And I wanted to talk more in depth with the accessories because there's some things happening that I'm not quite sure why. And just get the overall grasp of the situation. <laughs> I have pretty much everything that like is possible between the replacements and stuff. I only don't have this headpad covers which did not appear like on launch and I'm not quite sure if that will change something in terms of the comfort but maybe one day I'll do like an update and we'll check it out. Besides the trivial stuff I have everything except for this compact charging dock which makes really no sense. Bear in mind most of those stuff just like the headset even though it's actually getting a price cut next week. They are overpriced for what it is and it's just because of the brand and the official quality, let's just say that. You can easily get some other off-brand stuff that will do the job correctly. But I've actually not seen a lot of Quest accessories related to the Pro. Maybe it's just not worth it to produce. <laughs> Let's start with the full light blocker that is not included in the headset because this is like covering pretty much the whole peripheral of the headset. In package normally you get like a side ones that are smaller and don't cover the bottom of the headset. The installation is rather easy because they have magnets inside them so you just get close to the headset. <laughs> well, okay, I can aim and it just plops in the place. While in VR they don't really move, like they are very much stable and they cover literally everything. Even with my screwed up nose, like normally I should not be able to cover every like corner, whatever I see. But this is quite frankly the best light coverage you can ever get, honestly. If it covers my nose, th that's like all you can ask for. The more interesting question is that do you really need this? And I say that it really depends on your VR experience because for me personally I don't mind you know light coming from the bottom or just some other distractions happening to be very much immersed in what I'm doing. I can literally just plop the headset on like that with my eyes up on the sides and that's fine like I pretty much don't need anything else but I use it every single time and I very much appreciate that it actually works well. Next we have a carry case for the Pro even though I didn't necessarily plan to even carry it around I still get cases for them when I just stop using them and put it on the shelf. Here's the thing with all the price it's asking I pretty much expect it to be not like better, but I'm a brand whore. Quest 1 and Quest 2 had logos of the Oculus and then Meta on the case. This one doesn't have it, it has some in-case thing, which then... Where's the brand? Like essentially Meta ordered someone to design a case for the Pro, but it's not even correlated to them, like... I don't find it nice. The case works well, like you can just put your headset in with the controllers, like this is not a problem at all. And it's very solid, like you don't expect anything to be broken. But a stupid thing like a logo would be very nice to have and this just seems <laughs> disappointing, honestly. <laughs> Now we have the Pro earphones, which honestly you can just plug it to anything. They are just designed to be that way because of the length and convenience that you can just plop it right back in, then into you and then just rest on the edge like it's very much designed to be comfortable and compatible with the headset. I don't have them now here because my Quest 2 is at home but those really remind me of the previous generation earphones that I got with the previous headset. To me they kind of work the same. They are more plasticky with the build but the whole quality and pass levels are I feel like exactly the same and I don't really expect anything more. If it's a carbon copy design from the previous one I'm not the one to tell but I'm happy with them because I just like the convenience of having a short cable 
just straight into your ear. Lastly, we have the whole charging dock, which actually comes in the package with the headset. But I want to talk specifically about this because it has some things that I'm cool with, but also some design choices that were made. <laughs> I don't know how I'll show it to you, but how it works is that you just plop in the headset like that, laying down of course, and then the controllers inside, and that's how it's charging. Problem, however, and you can see it's not plopping, is because of the cover. I don't know who was in charge of this particular design, but when you get the full cover for the headset, you have to remove it every single time you want to charge if you use the this one, which I'm not pissed, but like it is very annoying after every session because normally I strive for convenience and comfortability. <laughs> this is just all across the board. I don't know why this like that. I mean, I know why. It's because this nose thingy that kind of fills the headset without the cover is too high. So essentially you would have to either cut it or lower it to be able to put it with it. But at this point it's too late, so I'm not sure if they didn't even predict that or they didn't even test it at all. It just don't seem to be cohesive with the design. Because it seems like everything's working in the basic package, but when you get something else outside of that, then there are some stars to handle. Which for a premium thing like the Pro, it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> it's like someone did not fully think it over or it was just glanced and not really taken care about. This is like the cover that you put as a protection, but outside of that, I think that would be it. It's just that I had some thoughts about some things. It's either hit and miss, it seems like. Everything seems rather professional, but there were some design choices that I don't agree with and there are some stuff that could be better. Like. Of course, as you can see. I think that will be it for now. We'll see what's up with those covers for the forehead and the back because currently I can't even wear it longer than half an hour or an hour, I suppose, without my face getting just painful and I need to take a break. And those pads are made from silicone. Okay, because normally I was used to the leather or whatever from the VR cover and I don't think I've ever tried the silicone kind of material so I'm not sure how my face would react to that but if I can upgrade the comfortability then I suppose it's all worth it so we'll see in the future. That would be it for now I just needed to get off some stuff from my chest and explain why some stuff were just annoying to me. <laughs> As always, if you have any questions about the Pro, just forward them to me because it seems like I'm using it on the daily here. The headset itself is getting a price cut in the next week or something, or it depends on the region, I suppose. So if you were looking into pancake visuals, but it was too expensive before, maybe now's the time. But then again, Quest 3 is arriving from now? It would like half a year. Hmm, so I wonder what's the strategy here with Meta. <laughs> we'll have to see. See you around!